This is Euclid Book 3, Proposition Number 12, and I know I kind of went in haste on the last one, but I'm going to say this for both 11 and 12. Um, 11 had a circle within a circle. In this case, you have a circle and you have another circle, and they're outside of each other, but they do touch at point letter A. Now, first Euclid says, use the earlier proofs of proposition number three to find the center of this circle right here, which happens to be F in this case. And then he wants you to use the same Euclid proof of Euclid book three to find the center at, at G here. So G is the center of circle A, D, E, and F is the center of circle A, C, H. Okay? Now, Euclid says that if you were to draw a line from point F to point G, it has to pass through point A, which is where these two circles touch. Because he says that if that were not true, then you would end up drawing a line from point F to point C through point D and all the way down to point G. And this is a fake G. This G here is not the real center of the circle. It's this G right here that is. And we'll show that in just a second. But anyway, you draw a line from point F through point C through point D and up over to point G. And because you have drawn a line from F to A, then you can actually say that the line from F to A is equal in size to the line of F to C. Likewise, you are going to draw two lines, one from G to A and then the other from G to D. And therefore... The line GA and the line GD are equal in size because all radii of a circle are equal. That means that FA and FC are equal in size because all radii of a circle are equal. And GA and GD are equal in size because all radii of a circle are equal. So, we go on to say that the size of FA plus AG... Well, here's FA and here's AG. If you were to add those links together, they would be equal to the size of line FC plus line uh, GD. If you add these two together and these two together, they'd be absolutely equal. But then you'd have to go on to say, by Euclid Book 1, Proposition 20, that the sum of these two are less than size than the, sum, uh, the, than the line of FG. And in this case, you're actually showing that FG is greater in size than FA plus AG combined. And so FA plus AG can't be both greater than FG and less than FG. So... It's absurd to say that if you were to draw a line from centermost F to centermost G, that the only place you'd be able to successfully draw that line is through point A, which is the touching point of these two circles. That's the only way you could say that. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.